Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So I'm here to make a video. You guys know I've been MIA. A lot of the videos you've been watching are like pre-recorded videos um, because I have not been feeling the best. We already know how January was, okay? I had the flu in January, and then towards the end of January, after my son got sick, I got really sick, lost my voice. My voice is back, but my throat still hurts, like, excessively, which is, like, ridiculous. Um, some days, like today, my voice is fine, and then I can wake up maybe later. I can take a nap and come, you know, wake up later on. And then my throat is really sore. So I'm going to go to the doctor. I've been saying I was going to go to the doctor for like the past two weeks. I haven't gone. I just don't want to go to the doctors for them to tell me that they can't do anything or that it's something that just has to go on its own. It's annoying. But um, I'm probably just going to have to suck it up. And then Sunday I ministered and danced and I pulled my inner muscles on both legs. Yeah, um, not the best at all. You know, I still had to dance through it even though I pulled both muscles. But um yeah we're gonna push through um you might hear the smoke detectors yes they are beeping again we have been dealing with some craziness in this house okay just just we gonna leave it at that um prayerfully we can move out of here by the summer prayerfully um into a house of our own but just have to deal with this until i can get this still situated um i did fix it but then again the lighting in my house was bugged out i have a vlog coming that you guys will see soon but, um, yeah, it, 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 the lights in this house went haywire, basically. So we're back to this. Um, but as the title says below, this is going to be an actual unboxing of some goodies that were sent to me from Leona. And I just, I love her so much. Like, you ladies, literally just in general on my channel are freaking phenomenal. Um, and it's not, be and I say this every video, but it's not because you guys send me anything. It's because you guys actually take the time to email me, to text me. Um, some of you have called me. <laughs> some of you guys DM me. Like, if I'm not on YouTube for a long period of time, you ladies actually take the time to reach out to me. You ladies pray for me. A lot of you have been with me from day one in 2017. We in 2020. Holy cow. We're almost three years in. Wow. Um, and I'm just... I am grateful to God for the community. Um, you know, I started out on YouTube in the beauty community, and the beauty community is not the best community at all. I started out in 2009 on YouTube, and, um, you know, I've been through several channels on YouTube because I, I couldn't deal with the harshness of the beauty community. And then I branched out into other communities on YouTube, like the book community and then the wax and candle community and things like that. But, um... You know, I, I, I took a step back from YouTube and the Lord impressed it on my heart to make a Christian channel. And you ladies, this, the, the Christian community that is on YouTube is amazing and phenomenal. And I love you guys. But I'm going to stop rambling because I just, I unboxed all this stuff already in my reading vlog. Not a reading vlog. It was like a random vlog because I had just got this stuff in my mouth. I wanted to unbox it. Um, but I didn't want it to look like a proper video. So I don't know if that video is going to be up before this or after this. So... I'm in the process of editing, but this one might go up before that because that that, that video is like a two-hour video. I got to edit down to at least an hour. <laughs> yeah, but Leona sent me some goodies, and um, they're all in here. And for those of you who don't know, I am a freelance makeup artist. Makeup artistry is something that God put on my heart back in 2009. Um, brief history with me and makeup. I didn't care for makeup. In middle school or high school, the only makeup that I really wore was lip gloss. Um, I was more of a getting my nails done type of thing. I didn't care for eyeshadow, lipstick. I didn't care for none of that. It wasn't until my high school senior prom, my cousin did my makeup. And um, for some reason, I was intrigued by it <laughs> for some odd reason. And I began to teach myself to do makeup through YouTube videos. And for, yeah, I just started doing makeup for photo shoots and things like that. Um, if you guys want my like full blown story on how I became a makeup artistry, my philosophy and all that, um, just let me know and I can do that. Uh, but I've been doing makeup now for about 10, 11 years and I enjoy it. I feel like it's nothing wrong with wearing makeup. Um, makeup to me is kind of like how I think of sex now. Sex is something that God created. Sex is not bad. Sex is not a sin, but using it out of context makes it a sin. 
Um, I feel the same thing with makeup. Makeup is something that, you know, God used other people to create, pretty much. And, um, you know, I feel my philosophy as a makeup artist, as someone who wears makeup, I haven't worn makeup in a while, but someone who loves makeup, um, you don't need to cake your face. I, I don't believe in that. I don't believe you need to cake your face with a ton of makeup. You just, you just don't need to do it at all. I think it's dumb that people do it, honestly. That's just me, personally. Um, you use makeup to enhance particular features on your face. If you want to enhance your cheekbones, your lip shape, um, your eye color, the shape of your eyes. But I don't think you need to cake on a ton of makeup. Unless you're doing, like, a photo shoot, runway, whatever like that. But if it's on an everyday basis, I personally don't believe in, like, caking up your face. Because I do not like when I watch videos of females. And, um, you know, they look stunning on videos and in pictures. But then when they take their makeup off, they're literally like a completely different person. I don't like that. Like, it bothers me because I feel like you're hiding who you truly are. Um, and some people, I get it, are not comfortable with their skin. But there are ways to learn to use makeup to um, enhance your look without completely altering who you are, if that makes sense. But that's just my philosophy. But I'm, I'm rambling. Let's get to this unboxing. I did one of these before. So if you guys want to see the previous one I did, just click the eye on the screen. Um, but this, like I said, is from my sis Leona, and I love her so much. She's awesome. And you know, she actually lives in New York. I should probably go. We, we, Leona, we should probably link up one day. I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on something, but we're going to get into it. So the first thing in here... Um, are these two things I still in the video I didn't really know what they were they were like makeup wipes that you use you wipe makeup off I don't know but they cute they nice and soft and puffy and they're nice they're, they're two pink ones they're from um lashy box they look like that so they they feel really nice like so good so I've had something like this before but um it was an actual like towel like that and it was used to remove makeup so like i said i'm not sure if this is to remove makeup or not i still haven't gone on youtube to look up half these products so yeah um then i have two brushes from her so this first one looks like this these are from doe color you guys see that doe color i love these they're so cute they're gonna go in my personal collection of brushes for me myself but um yeah this brushes like this i use to put like powder under the eyes they're great for that for setting under the eyes um so we have that and then i have a stippling brush which i didn't really open in the other video but i'll open it here so it's just a stippling brush again from doe color i really love these and um stippling brushes are great for stippling on your foundation buffing in your foundation putting on powder um blending all your makeup together stippling brushes i feel like are a must for any makeup lover i'm gonna stick this back on to keep its shape it just came with a protective cover. Um, I normally don't keep these, but for this, I'm going to keep it. She sent me four boxes of lashes, but I'll get to the lashes at the end. Um, so this, she actually sent me a picture of um, on Instagram. And I was like, not Instagram, on Facebook, and I was super excited. So this is the Becca Prime Set Glow Kit. Um, so I believe these are samplers. Yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a sampler and a full size. Um, don't quote me on that, though. Or travel size, rather. That's what it is. It's a travel size. Um, this, it doesn't say the color on here, so I'm going to have to actually open it. But I love highlighters. I think highlighting is, like, amazing. Um, I don't like excessive highlighting when your face is, like, just boom. We don't like that. But um, it's still in the packaging wrapped up, so... It comes with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, travel size, and then it also comes with the, inst the excuse me, the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. It's a primer, pretty much. Um, a lustrous lavender hued priming filter, powdered by luminescence that perps. I'm sorry, that preps, perks, and perfects the complexion. So yes that and then we have this which i already have one of these because i got it when my sis stephanie um sent me that makeup package and um this is the shimmering skin perfector pressed in champagne pop 
So I do have two of these. So I'm keeping one and putting one solely in my kit. But it looks like that. Let me see if I can like swatch it. So here's what it looks like on my finger. But then you wipe it on your hand. And it gives like a really nice glow. Like we are here for the glow. Do you see that? Like we're here for it. But um, I'm going to fold this back up. And stick it back in the box <laughs> but then i got a bag of sephora good to use some samples um and we love samples so i'm just trying to take all the samples and stuff out those are not samples quite a few things in here okay quite a few things so just give me a second to sort it all out okay i forgot to show these these are eyelash glues <laughs> Um, so I got two eyelash glues that came with the, um, these two things. So one is in clear and one is in white. So we have that and I threw that in there. Then I have this sample of the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara, which I can't wait to try that. She sent me this Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner. Um, I'm here. I, I have a good amount of these now, so I, can, I can't I can wait. Um, so, samples. I will get to these after. But I have a sample of the Sephora Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. I love anything with coconut water. I think coconut water is amazing. Um, and coconut oil, too. I like to use oils to take off my makeup when I have, like, on a heavy foundation. But um, wipes, amazing. <sighs> Alright, I'm trying to figure out, because I know there's a couple of samples that are the same in here. Yes, and then we have that. Okay, so is that that? So, no, we're gonna save that. So, I have this what is this pure skin face cleanser um, from Fab First Aid Beauty? So, it's a sample cleanser. Can't wait to use that. I have another sample cleanser, right? Yes, this is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I have the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash sample. I think it's Claudel. Or Cla 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 I know this company's name. I just can't pronounce it right now. Caudalie? I, th I think it's Caudalie. Don't, don't quote me on that. Um, but this is their Purifying Gel um, Cleanser sample. I can't pronounce that for the, the life of me right now. can't think. Um, and then I have three from Drunk Elephant. So two of these are the TLC Frambrose Glycolic Night Serums. Um, I know that Lancome has a glycolic. I think it's glycolic. Lancome has two serums that I love to pieces. can't remember the names of them. But one comes in a nice sleek black bottle. And then another one comes in a sort of bluish bottle. I don't even know if they still sell it. But when I was working at the Lancome counter back in 2012, they sold it. And I loved it so much. But um, I'm excited to try these out. And then also from Drunk Elephant, I have the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Which is a strengthener and a strengthened moisturizer. It's a facial moisturizer. So we have a facial moisturizer and... this era which is going to be great okay moving on all right so i have these two they're i don't think these are the same company but they come in sort of the same mini packaging so i have the primera alpine berry water cream it's hydrate and glow moisturizer and it's just a tiny sample and it smells so good it comes in this little jar and it smells so good. I can't wait to try this. I, I haven't tried any of these items yet because I wanted to do this haul for you guys first. Um, and then I have this Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. Um, and it comes in a box like this. And it's a mask that you keep on overnight and wash off in the morning. So I think instead of putting on a like moisturizer for the night, you would put this on, let it seep into your skin, and then wash it in the morning. And it looks like that. It's just like a water gel type of thing. Okay, then I have some stuff from Tatcha. Tatcha. I think that's how you say the company name. So this is the Dewy Skin Cream Ultra Hydrating Anti-Aging Replenishing Japanese Purple Rice Moisturizer. 
um it sounds like it's a lot of extra stuff but if i like this i probably will splurge on this because i'm currently in the process of looking for a more higher end moisturizer when it comes to my skincare i don't splurge um that's just me personally because i find that the stuff at the drugstores like walgreens and rite aid work for me i normally stick to clean and clear um and cetaphil it works for me i've used it for years and it's never broken out my skin but i've noticed that because i'm pushing 29 i'll be 29 in june my skin has started to do a little weird stuff um so it's like the moisturizers that i was using are not moisturizing my skin the way i need it to moisturize um and my cleansers aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing so i think i need to start splurging just a little bit i'm almost pushing 30 i got a year till 30 so um if i like this i might try it and buy the full size or just get a sampler from sephora um and then this is the tatcha this is a duo type of thing. This is a deep cleanser as well as a water cream. So a cleanser and a moisturizer. So it comes in this little box, but this is the Tatcha Deep Cleans. This has the loofah fruit from, it's Japanese loofah fruit and um, it's a cleanser. So you just open it like this and it's a sample size. So it smells really good though. And then this also has the Pore Perfecting Japanese Wild Rose Moisturizer. It's a water cream. So, so good. Oh, I didn't show you guys. It smells so good. So, but before I use these, I'm going to use the samples that she sent me. But um, we have that. All right. So, let me put this on the floor. I have a lot of stuff left. Okay. So, moving on to the... I'm going to stick to skincare since I showed skincare. So I might as well, right, then do makeup. Um, so she sent me a bunch of facial masks. Um, a lot of these, I believe, are Korean or Japanese. I'm not sure. Um, I believe it's Korean. You see the language in the back. They're Asian facial masks. And I think most of these are sheet masks, which is exciting for me because I don't use sheet masks often. Um, I love Freeman Beauty's um, facial masks that you can get from, like, Walmart or stuff like that. Um, but this is Phil. This is their brilliant um powerful detoxify and pore minimizer this is the bamboo charcoal facial sheet mask so we have that then this one is the tatcha one and this is the luminous dewy skin mask um also a sheet mask as well so i'm going to use all this tatcha brand stuff together i might do like a vlog where i feature just straight up tatcha samples that she sent me then i have these two which are from lede um, they're vegan facial masks. So this one is the grain mask. It's pore perfecting. This one has Adelaide and black bean on the eucalyptus sheet. It's Hello Organic, the company, and this is Korean. So it's a Korean brand. Um, so yeah, this is a pore refining, which I need because my pores have been like, like I say, my skin doing some weird stuff, and now I can actually like visibly see my pores on my face, which. I've never had that problem before, so <laughs> we got issues. Um, and this one is a vegetable mask. This is for firming, and it's tomato and artemisia, also on a, a eucalyptus um, sheet. This one, uh, well, these next two are from Dr. Juan Beauty Lab. They're vegan approved. This is the Red Fruits Brightening Mask, and um, it helps for uneven skin tone, dryness, and dullness, and uneven texture. So we have that. And then I have the Tea Tree Soothing Mask, which is good for redness, sensitive, oily skin, and blemishes. And the last mask I have is the Doft and Doft. I don't know, but it's the Pink Milk Mask. It's Tone Up and Radiance. Um, and I don't know anything else because um, it's all in Korean in the back. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to try to stick these in this package. Can I stick it in there? Yeah, okay. So... Those were the samples and the mask. I need a sip of my coffee. And I'm just drinking some coffee in my DOI mug, of course. Um, I want to make it a habit to drink out of my cups more often because I have so many cups. Okay. I'm going to do lashes last. So let's move on to the makeup products. Okay. Let me stick all this stuff back here. Let me take this out. I'm going to move this box out the way okay box out the way so um starting off 
with the face products. I have two face items. This is uh, Hourglass's Veil Transludent Setting Powder. It's just a sample size or travel size, rather, where you will. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for myself or put it in my kit. I don't know because I've always wanted to try it out. But, um, yeah, it's just a small, like, sample size. So I have that. I'm just putting the little instructions back inside. And a lot of this stuff I know of um, already, like the brands I've heard of. Next, I have this Mellow Powder Blush. I messed up the packaging <laughs> in the vlog. Again, I don't know when I'll post the vlog up because um, I have to edit it. But um, get out. Now I won't come out the packaging. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it. It's not coming out. Why? What in the world is going on? All right. I don't know what's going on. But this is in the shade pink. I don't know if you guys can see it says pink. But um, it's just a blush in pink. Why are you going to open? Oh, okay. There we go. It's just a pink blush. Um, not sure how it's going to look on my skin. But if I don't like it for myself, it can go on my kit. Because I do work on um, people of all skin complexion. So, I try to keep my kit as versatile as possible. And I could always use it as an eyeshadow. Um, so, we have that. Alright, then we have some eyeshadow palettes. I have four eyeshadow palettes from her. Um, and two of them, she said she swatched them. Um, which... If you guys don't know, I do sanitize all my makeup. Brand new makeup that I buy. Um, makeup that I've used. Makeup that I haven't used. I sanitize all my makeup with 70% um, alcohol. You should use 70% alcohol because 90% and up um, does dry quickly. So 70% allows it to actually get in and sanitize. Um, and you can sanitize powder products. I've, I've seen other makeup artists say they can sanitize lipsticks. I don't know how true that is personally. Um, but yeah, this is the Pop Zombie from Ruby May Cosmetics. It's nine eyeshadow colors in here. And, um, the colors are nice. They're nice. The names are, like, a little freaky. Um, because it's zombie-based. So, obviously, they're gonna have names like Virus and Brains, Corpse, Plague, Pop, Pop. Like, it's, it's weird names. But these colors, though. If you don't know, I love color. Um, she, she plays with color all day, every day. I like bright pinks and purples and stuff like that. So... We're going to have some fun with this palette. Definitely going to have fun with this palette. Um, definitely going to use these in my next uh, video that I do. Book look tutorial. Then she sent me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. Which, packaging is cute. Um, Jackie Ina. If you don't know who she is, she's a very well-known beauty guru. Just everything. I love her. Um, I love watching her video. She's very funny and down to earth. Um... And, like I said, I've been watching her for a long time. Um, now, I don't know if this is, like, a brand new palette. Either she bought it or she had it for a minute. But this is brand spanking new, you guys. Like, this this hasn't been used. Okay? I was shook. And you can tell it's brand new because it still has, like, the little thing on the mirror. So, it does come with a dual-ended brush. Which is still there. But these colors give me life. Okay? These right here. I'm, I'm hit. I love the bright pinks and purples with the maroons. Um, I love that it's a mix of shimmery eyeshadows as well as matte colors. You can literally do a whole look with this one palette. And I think the names are so cute. So I'm going to watch some actual like videos on YouTube to figure out how to use this. I might make a return to the beauty community. Um, I, I've been debating on whether or not I want to do that or not. Um, because I, I like the beauty community. It's just a lot of drama. On the beauty community and i don't have time for the drama on the beauty community i just i don't but the jackie Ina palette we are here for this i think it's Ina. is how you pronounce her last name um then she sent this special edition ipsy palette this is the nomad berlin i think it's underground that's what that says but um here it is colors on the back and I actually showed my sister this palette and she really really liked these colors these colors are really pretty this is another palette that she swatched but um I think it was this palette or the other palette that she swatched I think this palette yeah is the one she said she swatched but didn't care for the colors or something like that I don't know but here are the colors they're really really nice my only gripe is that um 
there's only like one matte color in this palette and that's this um, brown the rest of these are shimmery colors which it doesn't bother me I don't, I don't mind shimmer but I don't like shimmer all over the lid I do love this blue I mean this like teal color I love this purple and this dark blue here I like this mustard it's gorgeous 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 this would be nice as an inner corner um, but yeah, I love these colors. They're really pretty. Oh, wait, no. No, that's not matte. Oh, that was nice. I didn't mean to do that, though. This NDW, though, that teal is, like, stunning. This East Side Gallery looks like <laughs> a shimmery lavender to me. But, um... Yeah, so I do, like I said, we'll be sanitizing these. I haven't put these in my kit because I wanted to do this video for you all is this the right way no it's this way and this is designed on locations in berlin germany which is awesome because I, I berlin is one of the places like i really want to travel to i want to start traveling but finances and a, a toddler don't work mm. and then the last palette is this one it's from um colourpop and i do like colourpop i do have a lip gloss from colourpop but um this is their pressed powder palette. It's eyeshadow palette, basically. It's called It's All Good. Um, you guys see all the colors in the back. This, I'm going to have so much fun with. Oh, my gosh. First of all, this palette is just everything. It's gorgeous. This palette is gorgeous. Um, but these colors... <sighs> these colors are my life. And I know that a lot of palettes have colors like this. It's like that blue-green pigment from MAC. But um, these are glitters here. And I love this one because it's like pink and gold glitter. You guys can see. But um, these are definitely like colors I love. I'm loving the pinks and purples. I like that they have you know, like uh, a burnt orange. This yellow just there in the mix. Um, this right here, this margarita. If you guys can see the shimmeriness. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The only thing you're missing is a lavender. I love these neutral, to neutral tones up here. They're great for inner crease, not inner crease, but um, for the crease. They're great for brow bones. I like this pink. It's nice. It's neutral. Um, for me, the only two colors I, pro I probably could use in like my crease um, as like a transition or um, is like gold setter. This color here, this or this, but this might be a little dark, but I can't wait to play with this. <laughs> Y'all understand the makeup lover in me is like, yes. Okay, and then lastly, we have lashes. So, I have these Jackie Love Mink Faux Lashes. Um, they're vegan. This one is called the Lena. Um, and it looks like that. Now, I have a love-hate thing with lashes. I like lashes, but I don't wear them often just because my eyelashes are naturally long. However, my eyelashes have been, like, falling out. <laughs> I'm struggling over here. You guys see the struggle? Yeah, we struggling over here with this hair. But um, we can get it together. Okay. But um, I might... Lashes like these, I feel like they're just too long for me. Because my lashes are already long. And I just use um, volumizing and lengthening mascara for my lashes to, like, pop. But um, these I'm going to throw into my actual, like, pro makeup kit. These I will not keep for myself. These are going to go on my kit. The same thing with these. Um, these don't have, like, a brand name. Um, but they look like that. And my lashes are definitely longer than that, so I personally don't see, see me keeping these, so this will go into my kit. But um, I like keeping lashes on hand, because if not most, all my clients always want lashes, like, always. Um, and then she sent me these two from Lashbox, which are 3D mink lashes. So, I don't want to take it out of the packaging, but um, they each... <clears throat> My voice was going there. But um, they each have three um, styles in them. This is a little too much for me. Okay. They're a little out there. <laughs> you guys can see. They're a little bit out there. But it's Lovely, Lola, and Tiffany. So this one will definitely go into my kit. Um, I can use them for a photo shoot. And then this one I'm keeping for myself. because these are, these are like my style. Um, and this one is Cookie, Lulu, and Lucky. These I definitely can rock myself. And I know it sounds crazy because, like, this, you know, they, they look, I don't know. I just feel like these are more dramatic than these, but, you know, it to each their own. So, 
four pairs of lashes, or four boxes of lashes, and there's six, seven, eight pairs of lashes, which I'm here for. So I got some stuff for myself, some stuff for my kit, and I'm just super, super excited. Again, Leona, thank you so much. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, I've been trying to update my makeup kit for a long time. A long time. And um, when I first got my makeup kit, my mom and my brother helped me out. And then when I met my son's father, he actually invested quite a lot into my makeup kit. Um, I've had my makeup bag now for years. I think well over five years. Um, that thing is beat up, toe up, flow up. And I honestly have been wanting to like upgrade my kit for the longest. But because you guys know I don't work. And um, when I say I don't work, most people think I'm just sitting on my butt not trying to find a job. No, I've been looking for a job. I've been filling out job applications. I've been going on first and second interviews, doing phone interviews. But I never get the call back. And um, I, I know there's a reason my bishop and a lot of other pastors and bishops have prophesied to me why it is that I can't work. And I understand, but it gets frustrating um, when you want to work. And it's not that God doesn't want me to get the job but it's just that he wants me to focus on something else and i'm just like i don't want to focus on that i want to make money so that i can spend my own money and do what i want to do and it's a struggle but my testimony is that even though i haven't had a job since 2013 it's not 2020 you guys the lord has been providing for me i may not get everything that i want to have but everything that I need has been provided for, whether it's been through me making the Bible study notes or you ladies just donating money to me um, or, you know, my son's father saying, here, take this and go get what you need or my mother doing. Like, it's been provided for me, but I don't like it. I don't like relying on other people. It irritates me, <laughs> like, to no end. Like, I've been I've been going back and forth with the Lord, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. God has been telling me to come to you guys concerning something that I want to do for DOI, but I'm hesitant on doing that because I don't, I don't like asking for help. I don't like asking for money. I don't like doing any of that, and you ladies know, like, you know. Um, and a lot of you get frustrated with me, like, why don't I charge for this? Or why am I, why am I charging this amount of money? And why am I short selling myself? And it's not that I'm short selling myself. It's just, I don't know. I just, I, it's something that I have to work on. Um, but my testimony is I haven't worked, like I said, since 2013. I left my job in December, um, because my family and I were dealing with some, some housing situations and I had to, you know, being the oldest, I had to help my mom out. So I had to leave my job, um, and... I've tried many times to get my job back there, but there were also situations in which I could have worked, but in order for me to get those jobs, I would have had to leave home to live with my son's father, and um, one, we're still working things out between him and I. We're, we're good. We're good, but we're still working things out, and then two, I don't want to live with someone unless I'm married. Um, for personal reasons, I'm on this there's a lot that the Lord is working on me with basically and I don't want to live with my son's father if I'm not married to him um just because I know me my flesh is weak and I'm gonna leave it at that okay I know my flesh I know my body um and I want to be celibate and um you know there's just a lot that goes into that where I could have gotten certain jobs but to g get those jobs I would have to be able to travel to the to the mall. The mall from my house driving is about 30 minutes. I don't drive, so I would have to take an Uber. I'm, I'll be spending like $40, $50 a day just to get to work. Um, from his house, from my son's father's house, it's like $2. So that's like $4 a day, 4 to $6 a day to get to work, which is fine. Um, I would have gotten a job at the mall over the summer. But again, I would have had to leave my home to basically live with him um not move in but if i was gonna work every day i would have to basically stay at his house which is not a problem but again i don't want to do that um you know and god just was like no you ain't getting a job <laughs> pretty much and then my son probably would have had to switch schools it, it was it's a lot um so i'm, I'm trying I'm, I'm you know i'm the lord just keeps telling me to wait wait and i know that i have a lot of skills and gifts that i can use to make money I just don't like putting it out there which is another bad thing so you know like I do make business cards um, I can make flyers and things like that and nothing like extensive like these graphic designers but I can do the basic things I've made my own business cards I don't even have one on me right now do I I don't think I have a business card on me I don't feel like going to get it but I've made my own personal business cards 
copy. I've made my own business cards. I've made my own websites. Um, you know, I can make mentorship programs, but I don't, I don't know. Y'all, y'all just pray for me that I get it together. But I, don't, I just went on a rant with this video. But again, Leona, thank you so much. I love everything. I can't wait to play in it. Like, I have a few videos coming. A few. Because I'm still going to do book book look tutorials. Um, I have to do Cry the Raven. I still got to do Isaiah's Legacy. Um, I think I want to do Isaiah's Daughter as well. Then I have um, the Star of Persia, which is coming out soon. Then we got the Connie Lynn's uh, Cities of Refuge series. Like, the fourth of Rhino book is coming out. My heart. I have to actually read that book this weekend, but I'm like, I don't want to. Because once I'm done, it's it's over. Like, there's no more Mar Mariah. There's no more Derek. I'm not ready. But, you know, I'm definitely going to use these 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 items and uh, in that video. In those videos. But uh, that is it for now. Thank you again, Leona. I'm saying thank you like 30,000 times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I already messaged you on Facebook. Um, I truly thank you. Again, I did have an unboxing where I had like my raw emotions in that vlog. But again, I don't know if the vlog is going to go up before this or after this. I'm actually like the vlog is over on my computer just waiting to be edited. But like I said, it's a two hour vlog. <laughs> and I have to edit it down to at least 50 minutes. Um, I don't like my vlogs to be over an hour long. Um, again, I love that YouTube allows you to speed up your videos. I watch most of my videos now on YouTube, either on 1.5 speed, 1.75, or two times. Which, you know, if you're watching my videos on 1.5 speed, you should be good with an hour-long video because that'll be cut in half. But, <laughs> um, yeah. So, I'm gonna end this here. And, uh, if you ladies are ever interested, I'm just gonna say this because I know a lot of you guys will probably message me. A lot of you message me for my address. If you ladies ever want to send me something... If you ever want to donate finances to either myself or to DOI as a ministry, you can just reach out to me and I don't mind giving you guys my information. Um, just make sure that if you're sending something, it's appropriate. Okay. I don't want to receive anything crazy in the mail. Um, you know, I'm a makeup artist. I, I love books. Um, you know, I like Bibles. We, you, you, you guys know what I like. So make sure it's within those the brackets you know i've heard stories of people giving out their addresses and people shipping them some some weird and crazy stuff i don't want anything weird i don't want anything crazy okay just let, let's keep it together okay all right but um yeah if you ladies do want to donate um i always put the donation information down below but i don't promote it because i i don't know so if you are interested in donating either to doi or to myself um information is down below where you can donate um and i don't care what it is you donate i, I really don't um i'm thinking of creating a patreon because i want to start doing more vlogs and keeping you guys in the loop but editing these videos is super long <laughs> there's a lot of work um and i also i mentioned this i think last summer that i wanted to do more um motivational videos on like a daily basis but um I don't know. There's there's a lot. The Lord the Lord has put a lot on my brain that I need to do, but I'm just like hesitating on doing it, which is probably bad. Which I probably should just obey and do it so that I can make some money. But yeah, and you guys, I'm almost at twenty four thousand. Twenty four thousand? At that? No, no, Shanae, twenty four hundred. I don't know why that number just popped in my head, but I'm almost at twenty four hundred subscribers. Which, if I get to three thousand before my third year. Of DOI, I'm gonna be like just mind blown, okay? Mind blown. But I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you again, Leona, for like the 13,000th time. And if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe to the family. Join the sisterhood. Become a daughter of increase. If you are a man, it's okay. Become a son of increase. I, I embrace you all. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.